Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back, I'm Sim UK. This is uh, City Skylines 1. I'm playing the game to remind myself how to play in preparation for City Skylines 2, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, we've just hit Busy Town, and I think that's an accurate description of what we've built. It's a very busy town. It's a very poor town. We're making about 2,500 a week, which is pretty good. We've actually just had a cash injection of 42k go in, so we can get some schools in, we can get the water situation sorted out and maybe uh, do a bit of industry in this episode. We're working towards now being a big town, which is 8,000 people. No, wait a minute. I do apologise. We're a boom town and we're heading towards being a busy town. Five and a half thousand people, so we're going to double what we've got right now. It seems completely impossible in my head right now. Remember, the YouTube algorithm absolutely hates us, so please do hit the like button, leave us a comment. You have no idea how much that helps. And the longer you watch, the more YouTube, uh, I don't know, kisses our butts, something like that. Let's have a look-see here at the current situation in terms of education. So the guys over here are very angry because they've got none. They can't get no education. Come on, that's worth a like on its own, is it not? Come on, you're such a, a tough crowd, you really are. Right, we're going to get an elementary school in here. I don't know why... I mean, look at that. That elementary school is green, but not to this corner here. I mean, how lazy do you have to be not to be able to get to a school that's less than a road away? It's one... What, two roads away, that's it. it. Just seems crazy to me. Right, we're going to squeeze that in there. Looks like we need an awful lot of elementary schools. That's pretty much all our money gone right there. Community school is in. We're going to put a road straight across. And <laughs> you're kidding me, we've run out of money already. Okay. So I spent all our cash on education. Tell you what, it better work out for me. I'll be most price. We have at least connected up all the water. So everybody's got water, which is good. Uh, these guys are absolutely polluting the ground around them. Uh, well, that's not the end of the world. Making two and a half thousand a week. There's schools here now. Surely that's going to boost the... Sorry, I'm paused. Surely that's going to boost the desire to come and live here. What are these houses that nobody's living in? These could be houses too. These ones. In fact, what are they that one? <coughs> well, they can all be houses, those. All of them. And that one. That could be houses. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one can be. I'm going to put a road right in there. Right, so we are growing at 70 a week. Is that a week? Yeah, 70 a week. That's, that's quite a decent jump up. Um, it's 2,500. Oh, 2.2,000. We'll put it there as a sign of intent. Off. I'll just put that road in there as an option. Oh, hang on. Are these, if I put all roads with no paths, so difficult to tell. So difficult to turn. No, I think they're road. No, they're not road. No. Right, 
wide sidewalks, that's what I meant to do. Or maybe not, maybe not for that one, because I'm not going to put any houses here. This is purely a route in sort of deal. Um, Just to get, just to split people up, basically, and get them to cross and stop being so awkward. <laughs> That's the plan. That is the plan. We still want to put right in the middle here. We want to put uh, the Panda Sanctuary. It's quite important to me, in fact. Uh, not because I love pandas, but because I want somewhere for people to go. Give people something to do. And so on. Cool, that gives me a little bit of play area. It's just not coming in fast enough, is it? Not fast enough at all. Yeah. Okay, industry needs are going through the roof. so much I can do. Because the financial implications of everything that we do. Water availability is dropping. That's not a good thing. How much are these? Three and a half thousand. Okay, we're going to have to get another water. Lot in. Create an airport area. Seriously? You can create an airport area and build different types of airport buildings inside the area. Try it out. Airport buildings can be built alongside concourses. Yeah. Of course they can. I don't know how big an airport area needs to be. So I could paint the park area down here, look. Maybe don't include people's houses in it. I don't like that. So that's Broad City Park. I don't know how you know whether or not the park has been used as a park or not. You can build road tolls to collect extra income to cover the road maintenance costs or other expenses. Road tolls will slow down the traffic. Okay. Right now, I don't think that's a very viable option. Good. It's asked me to build a post office and stuff, it's like, um, you know, Mikey Moses, we're not, we're not exactly coping right now, financially, we can't start adding more financial expenses to our already overstressed system. Okay, I 
think I'm going to have to branch off there, won't I? So that's fine. That means that could become... <laughs> so I'm trying to think this through. Obviously, we need more people. Um, we just need more of everything right now. Right, that's that's at least filled up. That's that covered. So we're good on that front. I really desperately need to build more water, don't I? Buy new land. I can't buy new land. I haven't quite got this land under control yet. It's kind of annoying. Oh no, somebody's died. That's really bad. Cemetery, cemetery needed. That's eight grand. Oh my god. So they're going to have to stay in their house dead. Until I've got eight grand. Yowza. How's that loan going on? Gosh. We're going to have to take a loan. Because if I don't get cemetery in... Then all sorts of bad things are going to happen. And I think that's quite a nice place for a cemetery. It's going to be all surrounded by trees. I might even put a little park in here. It'll be lovely. Somebody else has died down here. Though. dead person is waiting for transport and they're getting more and more impatient uh, right we're actually heading towards this five and a half thousand target aren't we we've actually grown quite a bit I'm actually quite surprised how much we've grown right, let's take advantage of this 15 grand shall we set of connections Yes, perfect. Oh, 
Alright, that's looking pretty good. So the demand for everything is growing, which is super. I haven't seen it demand that high for quite a long time. Right, we have 8,000. Is that enough for doctors? It's a fun house. Medical clinic, 10 grand. Oh, no. Right, we are making profit. We are growing. We need buildings, yeah. Oh, public library, that's, that's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Twenty-two grand. Of course it is. Of course it is. Okay. See, look at these lazy buggers down here. Why have they got no power? Oh no. We're running low on power again. Cost twenty thousand. Oh my gosh. Hang on, let me look at the water situation. Yeah, that's not looking too good either. Let's prioritize that first. So the water availability is looking much better, but not perfect. Water availability should be 100% now, but sewage treatment is starting to look a little bit suspect. I can't seem to upgrade that. What's this? Inland water treatment plant. Inland water treatment plant extends the water services to include cities built far away from open water sources. This building processes and drains the wastewater back into the grounds and the plants surrounding will be affected by ground pollution. Okay then. What's this? Eco Water Outlet. The green alternative. While the Eco Water Outlet is quite expensive, it helps purify the water let out of it. Pollution is reduced, but not wholly gone. The outlet lets polluted water from the sewage system needs a water pump to supply the system with water. What's this? Eco Inland Water Treatment Plant. What's this? Tank Reservoir. What's this? Freshwater Outlet. The freshwater outlet lets out excess water in the system. It can be placed on dry land, creating lakes and ponds. Okay. Water evaporates and the outlet can be turned on and off to help with possible flooding. If the city produces less water for the same amount it consumes, the water outlet won't let out any water. So I could I could build a rev reservoir. Oh Christ look. Let's just fix this problem real quick. There we go. Now we don't have one point of failure. That makes me feel a lot better. Good. Good, good, good. Very good indeed. Okay. Clearly we're going to have to expand in that direction. And that direction. And that direction. Okay. Well, that should be the water problem fixed. Not the 
sewage treatment problem. Never ends, does it this? So we have an inland water treatment plant. If I pop that there. Right, let's hope that helps. That's expensive a week. That is expensive a week. Um, but the sewage treatment has jumped up now. Okay, good. So, obviously, processing it is better than not processing it and keep it up here so that the filth stays away from the people uh, where out of interest where is the oh, that's good fishing oh, look at the sewage OMG oh that's just absolute filth there we go This is an eco water outlet. Oh, hang on. No, I think I may have got that wrong. That doesn't do what I think it does, does it? I was thinking of swapping over, but I think that just works with the eco cleaning plant or whatever it is. That's not going to help us. Oh dear. There's the information. Let me see. Which one is it? This one? The green alternative, whilst eco water outlet is quite expensive, it helps purify the water let out of it. Pollution is reduced but not wholly gone. The outlet lets out polluted water from the sewage system. It needs a water pump to supply the system with water. It requires electricity and a pipe. It requires a water pump. Oh! Is that it? I'm not entirely sure I got that right. It doesn't seem to connect to anything else other than this. Where is, uh... Show me the filth. Where's the filth? garbage it's slightly different isn't it what is the problem with these people they're so nearby all these services what the hell is going on have we just run out of electricity oh No cash. Oh crap. OK. 
quite a long way off hitting five and a half thousand. Um, I can't afford a wind turbine six k. Oh, this is bad. First things first, let's get rid of that. Damn it, that hasn't helped. Uh, oh man, everyone's out. Everyone's out of electricity. People are abandoning the city. It's just not enough cash coming in. Where's the police station? There. That one only gives me three grand. Seconds. So that produces eight megawatts of power. And that produces forty megawatts of power. We're going to need five wind farms and six thousand each. That's thirty grand. So it's cheaper to buy another coal plant. Okay, so that produces more. Oh look, we are well under. Oh, this is this is terrible. We're in a really bad state here. What am I going to do? There are no more loans. What about taxes? People are leaving, I can't put taxes up. What about budgets? What does this indicate? We're going to cut it by 50% a night. Is that actually saving me any money? Though? I'm not sure if I'm doing that right. I'm thinking we just turn off all those services at night time. It might save us a few extra quid. Oh dear, this is bad. This could end us. It could really genuinely end us. It seems a bit silly to me that you need three power stations to, to power just 5,000 houses. Three power stations to power 5,000 houses, that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem right. Oh, electricity is coming back on because it's night time. Oh, thank goodness.
We may have saved our asses here. Is that say? That's say. Stop the fires. There are no fires. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh dear, sewage is a problem. We've nearly got the 6k we need to get one of these. As soon as it comes in, I'm just, I've got to grab it and go. Where's the wind? Good and windy up here, look. Come on, give me that thing. I need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. In fact, I need about three of them. Just to get things back on an even keel. They're 12 grand, but they produce 20 megawatts. Oh, interesting. So two of those, 24,000. That's, that's an option for the future. Um, people are leaving 71 people a week. Oh, this is just so bad. electricity availability so low I mean that is ridiculously low why is it that low electricity production 21 megawatts what the hell are these things over here doing then they've got no water they've got no water because this has no power but it does have power, because he's there, right? Please tell me. Please tell me you're producing power. It's on. Maybe, maybe, maybe because I've got this turned down at night time. Producing seven megawatt. It's operating normally, but these are not operating normally. They are operating normally. Right, so the water is slowly getting round. I don't know what's going on with the water now. Oh my god. What is going on with the water? water availability have dropped so much if we just had like an enormous influx of people that I just yeah it kind of looks like that's what's happened an enormous influx of people and we just haven't prepared for it at all right so I need three grand and I could put another water tower in that might get us up and running again oh man talk about <sighs> stress <laughs> Maybe a water pumping station is a good idea. You show me pollution. Where's pollution? If I put a water pumping station, geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. A Residents sinkhole should take precautionary measures. Are you absolutely kidding me? A 
sinkhole is forming. Where, 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 where? Oh man, look at this. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. That's freaky, horrible, bad. That's not going to affect us, we're kind of lucky. Right, show me where the pipes are. So that's connected. So we should have... That's producing 30,000 meters square cubic meters of water a week, and yet that's still not enough. Crime problem, pollution is up. Stop telling me to create an airport area. I've got a serious, serious problem here. I don't understand why they're not getting. So, look, we have enough electricity. Somehow we don't have enough water. Oh no, now the water's 100% up and everything's running fine again. What happened there then? That took an awfully long time to sort itself out. Uh, maybe that's all it was. Let's just sort itself out. Right, so this is going to start producing horrible, nasty, filthy water again. Hopefully it won't come anywhere near this. You can always relocate that, I suppose. So I quite like the idea of these. They output 20 megawatts of power, whereas the coal outputs 40. So that's... 20,000, I suppose the, the downside is these aren't guaranteed, are they? We yeah, definitely need more electricity. I'd like to get rid of those rocks, actually. So close to being able to afford one of these, though. Right, people are starting to come back to the city starting to you look at that electricity situation it's not gonna we're not gonna be staying for long if that doesn't if that if that becomes a problem again so we're gonna start looking at electricity options Come on, 12k, help me out. I have to be so patient in this game. That's 11,000, we're almost there. 11 and a half. Seven, seven, come on. Oh, it goes in water. Okay. How do I know what the, the wind is like here? A 
watch it go up, watch it go up. Okay, we are just about surviving now. Let's get some roads in quick. station in there. Look at the crime situation that's coming out of control. Yeah, we are teetering right on the edge still. As much as the crime situation is Abhorrent. I definitely need to see it changed. There is a considerable need for electricity that may trump that. Let's connect those two sections up. Now I have played this before, and I have played it in a more money-centric way, I would say. Um, and it's worked out pretty well, got to admit. A lot of crime problems. Crime is so nice. How much is a police station? Talk to me. Twelve grand. Oh. It's more electricity now. I'm not buying any more land. People are leaving again. Ten a week. What's wrong with people? Why are they turning into criminals? I mean, <laughs> we've had some power outages in Britain before. We didn't all start go robbing each other. Back in the 80s, oh my God, it was a power cut nearly every other week. Kind of fun when you're a child. I could turn that area there into a lovely reservoir, couldn't I? Trees! Well, we'll come back to trees. We're not in a position to do trees right now. Right, let's not get distracted. I need to buy a police station before I do anything else. These criminals are not going to know what's hit them. That 
12k. Speed up just a sec. I don't want to play in sped up mode, but if I don't get 11, if I don't get 12,000 in, we are done for, I fear. Yeah, 12 grand. Police station. I think what we'll do is we'll put it right in the middle of all the. There we go. Take that, criminals. Have a healthy dose of policemen in your face. Right, let's hope this doesn't happen again. Oh my golly gosh, we need another 12 grand. What's this? No workers, okay. The criminal problem is really bad, the power is really bad, the water is sorted. I have fixed the water problem. That's not a problem anymore. It's now a power problem. I think we're going to need another one of these. Oh, look at how close we are to tipping over the edge. I'm just going to speed it up. Watch your toes, people cannot possibly run out of power again. People are starting to come back, 22 at a time. The problem with that, of course, is the more people that come in, the more electricity we use. That's also part of the problem with the wind turbine, is it's not consistent power, is it? Complaining about sewage problems again. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Once I get this, once I get this uh, wind tower down, I'll take a look and see what the hell's going on. The people are not getting their water again. How is water availability dropped? Hopefully that's the power problem over for the time being. Speed of seven. Oh. These are not reliable. Right, so let's have a look at this. So we're consuming 102.2 cubic meters of water a week. This doesn't seem to be working. Oh, it is working. It's just a lot cleaner now because of this thing. Nobody's getting any water. So we're going to have to get another water pumping station. Could that explain the power issues as well? Because Since it's operating normally, operating normally. Right, water is back in the city. <laughs> Christ Almighty. But now, the sewage is backing up. Why is the sewage backing up? 
Have I broken the sewage line? very expensive and it takes all the pollution from here straight from there and out. The amount of pollution come, going into the water now is considerably less than it was. And this is a filth fest. I know it would be. Sixty-one percent for that. People are leaving again. Why? Why is it backing up? Yeah, okay, so we've got a serious sewage problem. We've got power. We've got water. The sewage system is not working. That's doing 120,000 cubic meters a week. And we're producing how much? See, that's less. We are capable of draining 240,000 cubic meters a week. That's twice what we're producing. Oh, okay, was it just, a, just, just time? I didn't give it enough time to fix itself. Okay. Okay. We're going to do a little road here. So that the garbage trucks can come straight through and do what they've got to do. I'm going to put a new landfill there. Things are getting very complicated already. Hugely complicated. We're not even a small town yet. Crazy. Right, talk to me about trash. The trash situation should be fine. Everybody's covered, even down here. Look. Okay. I'm starting to make a bit more money. But we need so much more. What's the crime situation like? Okay, crime isn't too bad. But there are no police stations up here. And these guys down here feel like they're not getting anything. Why are they not getting power? Don't tell me the power's off again. Oh, the power's off again. can't have the power go out again. Not right now. It's too much. Maybe we'll take this um, sinkhole and we'll turn it into a reservoir.
Right, so this desperately wants to grow. I can't, I can't let it grow yet because we haven't got the power. Ah! I must remember the power. The power, the power, the power. All about the power right now. Town, isn't it? Anyway, people are coming back. That's good. Uh, maybe we'll get to five and a half thousand before uh, what will go horribly wrong again. We shall see. Uh, need to put some stuff down there so I can put some services in for the good people. Not got a bad life here, have they? I mean, now. Now that we've fixed it and got it working. It's not bad at all. I must stop looking at I must stop doing anything until I've got power sorted. And when I say sorted, I don't mean sorted at all. I mean temporarily resolved. How bad it is. Look how bad it is. They're not consistent. This is the problem. Look at that. Half the power that they're supposed to be outputting. At least these are close to their actual target output. we can get like um, an oil power plant that produces 120 megawatts how much does that cost 50,000 hydro power plant that would be nice only 600 megawatts though solar power that's 160 nuclear power that's 640 Geothermal power, that's pretty cool, that's only 80 though. Solar updraft tower, that's 240 megawatts, good lord. Ocean thermal energy. Interestingly though, none for the that recycling plant. Floating garbage collecting, this is water pollution. Incineration plant, that's what we need. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we need. Because we're already backing up. We're already already at max capacity and I've got all these house houses that I can add, but I won't because it's gonna cause problems. Wow, 
This, this episode's been an hour. You can tell this episode's been more difficult. Right, let's try and get everything back to where it is. Don't quite know what this means. See if our income goes down as a result. How are those loans looking? Two hundred and sixty weeks left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So far. Here he comes. He's a coming. He may be a little bit late, buddy. Ooh. Go on, lads, do your thing. It's gone in there. Is he getting anyone? Nope, it's run, it's run straight through it out to the back. Problem solved. Well done, boys. Amazing. Thank you so much for sorting that out. Not enough educated workers. Hmm. Not sure I agree with that. Education's pretty high throughout. The power has gone out in some of these houses. That's obviously a bit of a problem. school down here would be a good idea. New building. What's the new building? Firehouse. Oh, we have fires. Public transport. Go on, tell me about public transport. Public transport helps decrease the number of private vehicles on the roads, leaving more room to transport industrial goods. Also, reduced traffic creates less noise pollution, which increases the well-being of citizens. Buses, metros and other types of public transport vehicles allow people to travel inside the city, while transportation from outside connections bring tourists in and out of the city. Cargo trains could take goods from an industrial area to commercial area, drastically reducing the number of trucks on the roads. Cargo harbours allow raw materials and goods to be imported and exported. Taxi services are particularly useful for tourists, but also for citizens who do not have a car available for use. Yeah. Shall we squeeze in a taxi cab somewhere? Not by the cemetery. Pop it up here. Out of town. Bit of transportation for people, possibly. Oh. Bugger, they haven't got any electricity. We'll delete that, I think. Hang on one second. Oh, my daughter just came home. Right, what's going on here? Oh, okay, this is a massive backup of, of traffic. Um, right, a little, little fixerunio going on here. It's a one-way street now. Oh, 
Right, so hopefully that will fix this traffic problem. There we go. Now all the traffic is coming back down to the roundabout, which is where they're supposed to be going in the first place. I'm going to go look at this traffic. I'm pretty sure that's going to fix itself quite quickly. This is purely for traffic getting out. Should have made that clear. Hang on. Hang on. What is going on here? Okay, so now we've got... I didn't realise we didn't have that. I... Th that's very odd. So now we have two lane, one way system. There you go. All that traffic has, has been cleared and processed and it's all... It's all gonna... <laughs> it's all gonna filter down through into where it's supposed to be. We're going to have a bit of traffic jam issues here until this clears itself out. It's a bit frustrating. So that lane is hardly getting used for anything, so maybe... I'll change this for a two lane going that way. Let's do it. See, now that two lane lit us going the wrong bloody way. Going that way, guys. There we go. I think that's kind of what we're after. Right. That should fix it. Almost got rid of all that traffic. Oh, here comes the next lot of traffic, though. Yeah, I think we're just about getting it back to running smoothly. It'll take a while to filter down and clear out, I guess. about the best we can do unless of course unless of course I do make it a left hand lane thing let's just try this a minute I fixed it. Traffic does seem to be up. Hmm, I don't know. We'll leave it as is for now. Oh, yeah, this is this is we're running much better. Okay. It's a, it's a minor traffical traffical issue. A minor traffic issue. We don't have to worry about it too much. We can fix that later, don't. 
Right, how are we doing? 26,000. I distracted myself for long enough to enable us to buy. The thing is, I want to go for this better one. 56 megawatts. That's a huge step up. In four, from 40 for an extra 15 grand. Is that cost effective? Um, 56. Not actually cost effective. These are more cost effective. So, because we're in a bit of a sticky situation, I'm just going to cram one in there. Like so. I'll get one of these. We'll get rid of that ugly thing. We'll keep, we'll keep that. Why not? Sort of like a fail safe if, if nothing else. Right, five and a half thousand people, here we come. Um, got 11 grand. Talk to me about medical coverage. So we've got two hospital surgeries. That seems to be fine, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, Education wise, I think we're actually okay. Uh, we were talking about an elementary school down here, but. Hold off pollution, not too bad down here. I mean, up here is awful. Um, fire coverage, um, yeah, this is probably not good enough, is it? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whack this right on there, and it's gonna protect all this lot. But interestingly, it doesn't cut, it doesn't protect this lot down here. Hmm. So I wonder if I should relocate this. So a few more thousand. That's all. If I move this to here, that gives us much better coverage. Oh, why is everyone so unhappy? Because I moved the fire department from there and put it there. I guess that's the problem. But you know, more people are covered now, so I think that's better. Lucky. Tough decisions, tough decisions. Crime, actually the police are doing a really good job. And they almost cover all the way down to here. And they've got no coverage up there. I may try and relocate them just into the middle here. Should square off this area. And then we can put another police department up here somewhere. Seems to make sense to me. What's going on here? Got enough educated people? I don't think so. It's just not enough people. That's the problem here. Crime rate super low. Everything seems to be going quite well. Let's relocate. Crime situation. That didn't, still doesn't fix down here. What is wrong with this corner? It's like nobody can get down here. It's so weird. It's so strange. Anyway, I just wasted five grand on moving those two things. It didn't really help much. How's the power situation? Still not good, look. Still not producing enough electricity for the number of people we have. We've only got six people coming in a week, so that's not good either.
Oh, God, this episode is uh, testing me a smidge. I think it's quite nice what we built. It looks pretty good. Uh, but I certainly have made life difficult for myself. So I want, I want to start getting people in. As soon as I do that, we can expand. And we'll expand really quickly as well. But with the power situation as it is... It just seems so ridiculous that they produce so little power. We're going to have to walk the tight way here, aren't we? How quickly we're <coughs> getting people moving in. This is weird because we're only growing at eight a week, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to shoot up. It's going to shoot up. We're going to start getting some more stuff coming in, more money. Nearly three thousand a week. Once we get rid of these loans, oh good, that loan's gone. I could take out another loan for twenty grand. It's 403 a week, though. Might as well just wait. And then put another... Um, emergency station. Yeah, another power plant there. Right, we are very much nearly a busy town. We have struggled quite a lot. I have to say. The whole coal the whole power situation just seems insanely complicated. I might even look look for a little bit of a tutorial on YouTube. So if you know of a tutorial uh, around power consumption and use and so on, please let me know. I'm also thinking I shouldn't stack these power stations too close to each other for fear that should there be a sinkhole I might lose more than one at a time. Would be bad news. What I might do as well is turn these off. Oh, I wonder if there's a way of storing power. That would be excellent. Okay, we're pulling in way more than we need to. Come on, baby. Give me that money. 5,000. We need 500 people more. And we are rocking and rolling, guys. I say rocking and rolling. What I actually mean is, you know, slowly ticking some boxes. Okay, 
quite a lot of industry there. Uh, obviously the key area is this, but uh, we can't do anything with that until we've got that power plant in operational. It's, it's the temptation to build something all the time is very difficult to fight, I have to admit. Is that a park? That's a park. Why is that a park? What have I cocked up a little bit? There are people here without water. That's not a good situation to be in. Um, fire engines to deal with that fire. But deal with it, they will. Well done guys, excellent work. So glad I put in that extra fire station now. Look at this, the demand is incredibly high. Just give me enough money for a power station and you can have it. As soon as I do this though, and expand this area, we're going to have to do it again. We're going to have to put more in. There it is. We finally have enough power. See how quickly that gets brought up then. Oh, first one's in. Yep, here they come. Here they come. That should jank up our money pretty quickly. How long have we got left on that? 260. We're only paying 250 a week for It's not too bad. You won't really notice that money going out. 3,000 a week, that's going to help a lot. they unhappy about? No level up info available. Why are they so miserable? No, they're not miserable, they're absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Right, let's check again. Education. Now we could put an elementary school down here. Which is another interesting. Eight grand, is it? Ten grand. Oh my god. 
We're going to hit five and a half thousand any second now. So an elementary school is not going to be a problem. Flooding? Don't start talking about flooding. We've got enough problems. Oh, there aren't enough high schools. What? Hang on, I'm confused. What kind of school is this then? What? Why is it telling me we've got no... Community school. A small elementary school of the community variety. What's the difference between a community school and an elementary school then? Elementary school. The elementary school educates young people from a small area. Oh Christ. So we haven't got a high school at all. Okay, well good job I finally figured that out. We need a library as well. So there's a thousand kids eligible. What's going to happen first? I think we're going to rank up first before I get the money. How much is it? 24 grand! Oh yeah, that's definitely going to happen first. Oh, well, thank you. If you stuck with me through this episode, thank you so much. Um, this, is, this was the baptism of fire I needed to really wrap my head around how interconnected everything is so that I could, you know start to process things a little more logically and a little less impatiently. Um, bit of wasted space down there, isn't there? Yeah, a little bit of breathing space never hurt anyone. So demand has gone down, demand for housing has gone up, demand for shopping has gone up. It's an interesting period of time. How is the electricity looking? Okay, so we can double in size, theoretically. Right, can I turn these off? Leave that one on to ensure that this stuff never turns off. Um, now let's have a look at the power. Yeah. So we're heavily reliant on these. So already we need another another power station. Right, we're almost there, guys. Probably gonna have time to put in one more power station. I'm guessing up in this far corner here. That's interesting. Just the road has no uh, water, but everything around it does, so that's fine. I suppose I'm overcovering. There you go, so that's that whole area covered now for water. I don't need to worry about that anymore. I'll just put a power station in here. Ninety-two percent full. Oh crikey. We need an incinerator. We need a lot of things, but we are making five and a half thousand a week now. That's a huge change. It's an enormous change, and I've got a few facilities and things I need to put in here. So I don't want to build on that too quickly. Let's 
There's a few facilities in there as well, a couple of parks and things like that. How are we doing? Oh, people are leaving. Three a week. Basically treading water right now. Just need a few more thousand and we can get that power station in. And then I can unlock the rest of the, uh, the houses. Where we can find the first thing this I'm going to leave that square. Well, we've pretty much maxed out this area, right? So, a couple of little shops around. Too extravagant. Just a few. In no, why has no one moved in here? Oh, because I haven't um, signed that to anything yet. We've done it. We made it to a busy town. We almost didn't make it, let's be fair. Um, definitely got my ass kicked on that one. So, busy town, what does that give us? Uh, level 4 unique buildings. Uh, Oil industry, tourism, free public transport, new roads, quite a lot of new roads as well, bus lanes, look at that. We are a couple of things behind, I'd say. What's this? Trams, okay. A hospital, an oil power plant. Fire stations can maintain a large number of firefighters and fire engines and respond to multiple simultaneous emergencies around the city. That's good. Same with the police station. Police station headquarters. Tropical gardens, bus station, jet ski rental, fishing pier, skate park. Weather radar, that's quite a good one. Pumping service has a fleet of vacuum traps that are sent out when there are floods. Tsunami warnings. Ferry and bus exchanges. Community pool. Wow, loads of really cool stuff. Loads of really cool stuff that we can maybe get our teeth into, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're pretty much chocker right now. I'm going to have to expand huge amounts in order to be able to accommodate any more people coming in, so... That's going to be really hard. I'm not quite sure how we're going to manage that, especially with the power situation as it is. Anyway, that's my problem to figure out. Your job is to turn up next week, or next episode, and um, give me your advice and your recommendation. I look forward to hearing it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.